I'm not sure if this is good lighting or not, but hey ho, apologies. This is the first video I'm doing standing up and it feels really odd. <laughs> anyway, as you guys can tell, I'm all scrubbed up. I'm actually about to head off to the hospital soon. But before I was about to head off, I thought to myself, why exactly am I doing what I do? What is driving me with medicine? And I've been thinking about this a lot. And you'll question it a lot whilst you're studying medicine. Why am I doing this? Sometimes you can have those days where it gets really overwhelming. But I do love what I do and I'm so glad that I chose to study this subject. Now, when I had that thought, I was like, do you know what? This is like the perfect time to make a video on my MMI series specifically focused on on the question, why do you want to study medicine? Now this question is pretty commonly asked. So how do you approach this question? It seems like a really, really simple one because at some point in your life, you're probably like, yeah, I want to study medicine, but why do you actually want to study medicine? It's actually a lot harder to answer than you think. This is such a common question that everyone is going to answer. You can't really stand out. That's the first tip I'm going to give you. Don't think to yourself, oh, I need to think of something that no one else has said before. Don't worry about that too much. What you want to do in your interview when you're answering this question is make it personal. Be honest and talk about a time where you felt this desire to study medicine because our desire, our interest in medicine was definitely sparked at some point during some period of your life. You're not going to know overnight. You're not going to wake up in the middle of the night and be like, oh yeah, I'm going to study medicine for five to six years and be in debt after that for quite a few years. So a lot of thoughts are going to come into it. It's going to take a long time to know if it is for you. The way I knew that medicine was for me was when I decided to explore my interest for science. So I always liked biology and the human body and how it worked and stuff. So that was my initial interest. And this was kind of triggered mainly at college. I always liked science at GCSE and stuff, but at college you learn it in a bit more depth. You have a bit more understanding of the human anatomy, the human body. So that was like my initial trigger, if you like, to study medicine. And then I decided to look into it a bit further, get a bit of work experience. Now, this is something that you want to mention in your interview. If you talk about a specific experience that you had that is usually hopefully healthcare related, I understand that at the moment during the pandemic, it can be quite hard to find this experience. But if you do have that, use this to your advantage because you can use this to then say, this happened and then this happened and I saw a doctor do this, this and this. And it gave me an idea and show that you're reflecting on this, okay? It gave me an idea that medicine is not just about human anatomy. It's not just about things going wrong in the body and then certain medications putting it right. You can go into depth of an experience that you had at hospital or GP or wherever and explain what you saw and what made you realise that medicine is actually about communication with patients, seeing them improve, changing their overall quality of life, improving their quality of life. And that is what drew you towards medicine, that care aspect of it. And that's kind of what you want to demonstrate. That's like your main structure that you want to implement in this answer. So first of all, you want to think of a trigger, a time where you thought, ah, that's quite interesting. Maybe you have an interest in science. Then you want to think of an experience. Hopefully you've got some kind of work experience. Then within that experience, you want to reflect on something that made you realize what medicine is all about. And that's where it kind of initially starts. This is where your spark, your interest grew in medicine. So if you have something along those lines, obviously everyone's answer is going to be a bit different, but also a bit similar, because as I said, loads of people are applying to medicine. Loads of people are going to be answering this question. So you can't stand out as such, but what you want to do as much as you can for this question is reflect. If you can show that you're reflecting on experiences that you had in a hospital or a GP or any other healthcare environment, then that's gonna get their ears to perk up a bit because that's what you want to be doing already as a medical student. So not only are you reflecting on an experience and saying why you think medicine is for you, but you're also already actively showing them that you're a capable medical student. And if you do this, that will be amazing and they will be very impressed. Obviously, like depending on the university that you're applying to, you're only gonna get a certain restricted amount of time to answer this question and so make sure that you do your research on that. Now, ideally, you want to choose maybe three to four reasons as to why you want to study medicine and back them up with certain experiences. Overall, you kind of want to show that you really care about other people and their quality of life and improving that quality of life. Talk about all the skills required to be a doctor and how you want to be part of that team. So communication, leadership, teamwork, those are like the main ones. The idea of solving problems as well is another one. Problem solving as a skill is something you're going to be doing as a doctor every single day. So it's kind of like human the science and 
this holistic approach towards patients. It's not just about science, it's also about the art, which is the communication. Apologies guys, my video just cut out for no reason, but what I was trying to say is pick out at least three things about medicine that you think you'll really enjoy. So for example, for me, my top three were problem solving. That was one thing that really drew me towards medicine because you're applying your knowledge of science into the real world with real people, real human beings. It's not just about the textbook or the signs and symptoms that you see in textbooks. It's about improving their quality of life down the line. The second thing about medicine is that it's like a range of loads of different skills. It's kind of a cheap one because it's not really one thing as such, it's actually a variety of things. So the fact that it involves lots of different skills like understanding the science, problem solving, but also teaching, communicating with patients, understanding what you learn is one thing, but then putting that into words that a patient understands is something that you may enjoy. And the way you can back this up is maybe from your A-level studies, maybe you're doing biology workshops at college, or maybe you're tutoring. That's something I did during my gap year. And I talked about it in my interview and I said, I really enjoy teaching difficult topics and putting it into words that are really easy to understand. And this is exactly what you have to do when you're communicating with patients, because it's likely that not all patients are going to understand the full picture of what's going on. So it's really important that you communicate that. And the only way that you can communicate what you know is to be a good teacher, to be someone that likes doing that sort of thing. So if you prove to the interviewer that this is a skill that you're really interested in, then they're gonna be like, wow, this girl or this boy. <laughs> We want them. So that's like a kind of variety of different skills. And the last thing is the care that is involved in medicine. The idea that it's not just about the science, it's about the people and the people that you're also working with. The idea of working together as a team to solve a problem for one person may sound pretty appealing to you and that's something that you want to do. You talk about it at your interview and you talk about why these skills are so important to communicate with each other within a team, to then communicate to the patient and then overall solve their problem. Now maybe you have an experience, a personal encounter with a doctor that triggered something and you're more than welcome to talk about that at your interview but one thing I'll say to be wary of don't make it sound too much of a fairy tale I don't mean that in a bad way as such I'm just saying if you focus too much on oh yeah I was four years old and I broke my leg and I saw this doctor and he treated me and I felt so much better and I just couldn't stop thinking about that time and I just wanted to be a doctor there and then. That could be true, but you wanna be really careful with how you word things. So if that is an experience that you had, then explain how the doctor interacted with you as such that made you think about medicine. What was it about that doctor? What qualities did that doctor display? And then talk about you and how you think you're able to also display those qualities, good communication skills, good leadership, empathy, understanding, trust, all these qualities. I'll probably make another in-depth video on all this because this is like really Really important stuff but kind of linking that experience to how you are as a person and how you think you're able to demonstrate that you could be a good doctor in the future but also you want to make sure that you explain what exactly about being a doctor appeals to you so yes qualities are important yes you have those qualities great but also what about medicine exactly because there are lots of people who have these qualities and these qualities are actually really important in lots of other careers and lots of other jobs so you want to really narrow it down what about medicine is it that you think applies to you so Again, think of all those skills. Three to four things that you want to think about as to what drives you. What is it about medicine that makes you think, wow, this is for me? Now, why is medicine for you? This is a difficult question to answer because you have to make it personal. You do need to be honest. You do need to talk about your experiences. You just have to remember to be yourself and pretty much show that you're someone that really cares about people and you want to apply your science knowledge into the world of people. That's pretty much the overall answer that you can give. But remember, you have to keep practicing this, keep getting your parents to ask you why do you want to study medicine and they take notes on what you've said and think about the deeper meaning. So maybe the first thing you said was I like the idea of talking to people. Okay great, that is a good answer but then think about all the other jobs where you're talking to people. So you have to really narrow it down and each time you practice you can see you make notes on each time and over time you'll come up with an answer that's very well suited to medicine itself and for something for you to answer. So I remember when I was practicing I came up with the whole list of things by the end. The main thing was problem solving, teaching, communication and experiences that back up all of those three. If you answer this well and show that you're confident in your answer, then that's more than okay. Again, don't worry about standing out because there are loads of people answering this question. Just make it personal. Explain that it's not an overnight decision because you do need to take your time to decide on this. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. Remember to keep practicing with your parents and your cats and dogs and your friends and everyone else. If you've got any questions, do let me know 
in the comments below. I hope this video helped. I'm gonna head off to the hospital now. Until my next video, take care, stay safe, and I'll see you then. Peace. Thank you.